teased. If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I have my WWE Super Showdown predictions, guys. Pay-per-view is coming up on Saturday morning, very early Saturday morning. I think for me, the pay-per-view starts at 4 freaking a.m. 4 a.m. I have to get up at 4 a.m., watch this entire show, and then review it for you guys so you guys know what happened if you do miss the show. But it is coming up. It's just pretty much this show is just a massive live event that's going to be taking place in Melbourne, Australia. You know, this is like... Like the, it's like the biggest WWE live event ever. It's it's very similar to the Greatest Royal Rumble like we saw back in Saudi Arabia this summer or whenever that was. Can't even remember. I think it was the summertime. I don't know, guys. But anyways, there are 10 matches on this card. We're going to go through it. I'm going to give you my predictions as well as my thoughts on the matchups themselves. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So starting off with this matchup right here, we have a tag team match between Asuka and Naomi taking on the Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. We do not have figures from Mattel of those guys just yet, but I do like the Iconics. But anyways, uh, this match is pretty much a throwaway match, guys. I really don't know why we're doing this. Uh, it's just a shame how Asuka has been treated since WrestleMania 34. You know, she was on an undefeated streak. She gets beat by Charlotte, which was a mistake. I wouldn't have booked it that way. But you know what? Ever since then, she hasn't done anything. She got beat by Carmella two or three times, and she's just looked like a big idiot. And now she's in a meaningless feud with the Iconics with Naomi for some odd reason. I think both of these ladies should be competing for champions ships not wasting their time in a tag team feud here so i'm gonna go with them winning they're the fate oh never mind in peyton royce and billy k australia or australian they're australian right i don't know huh i'm i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with naomi and oscar even though you know, they, they make them lose in their whole hometowns all the time, guys. Let's, let's go with Asuka and Naomi. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a six-woman tag team match between the Bella Twins and Ronda Rousey taking on the Riot Squad, Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan. I would much rather see Ruby Riot versus Ronda Rousey for the Women's Championship. I don't know why we're getting another meaningless tag match. I do not like them aligning the Bella Twins with Ronda Rousey. You have... Um, just, I, I don't know, man. This is just another one of those meaningless matches. I don't know why it's even happening at this show. I don't really care about it at all. I'm going to go with the faces. I'm picking the Bella Twins and uh, Ronda R No, actually, screw that. I picked the faces last time. I'm going with the Riot Squad. Riot Squad will win. And if it's true that Nikki Bella is fighting Ronda Rousey at Evolution for the Raw Women's Championship, then maybe that, that build starts right here. Maybe Nikki gets pissed off at Ronda, slaps her around a little bit, you know, turns a little heelish, and uh, that sets up their feud going into Evolution. So I think that's going to happen. Riot Squad will win. Next up, we have the Cruiserweight Championship. Championship match between my boy Cedric Alexander taking on Buddy Murphy, guys. And if you guys saw their first match, my God, I bet they tear the freaking house down on this night or this morning for me. Um, I think Cedric Alexander versus Buddy Murphy will probably be match of the night, uh, hands down. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if you don't, if you haven't seen it, go find it. YouTube, WWE Network, go find that matchup. Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander. If they give the, uh, these guys the same amount of time they did in that matchup, then this match will steal the show by far. I'm going to go with Cedric Alexander retaining. I love him to death. I love Buddy Murphy, though, to death, too, but... I don't know. I think my boy Cedric is just on another level here, guys. Uh, lumbar check, favorite finisher in WWE. It is the best. I'm going lumbar check to Buddy Murphy, and he's going to retain his Cruiserweight Championship in Australia. Next up, we have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship match between the New Day taking on the bar, and I expect nothing less from this match than a four and a half star match, guys. These guy, every guy in this freaking match can work. You know, the New Day always puts on great matches. The bar as well. These two teams always deliver, and I expect nothing less here from all of these gentlemen. I think they're going to tear the house down. If Buddy Murphy and Cedric Alexander don't steal the show, I expect this match to steal the show. Um, all these guys are great. I hope we see Kofi and Big E versus the bar because I think we saw Xavier Woods and Big E versus uh, whoever they fought last time. I can't even remember. Was it the Bludgeon Brothers? I think it was. I can't remember, but uh, I hope that we see just a great matchup between these guys. We know they have it in them, so uh, I love this feud. I love these two teams going head-to-head, -head, and it's just a good... It's going to be a great match, guys. I can guarantee it. I'm going to go with the New Day to retain just because, uh, I don't know, I just think that they're too hot right now. They're, just, they're not taking the tag titles off of them just yet. Going with the New Day. Next, we have the SmackDown Live Women's Championship match between my girl, Becky Lynch, taking on Charlotte, guys. And um, this is kind of scary because I feel like they're just going to drop the title right back to Charlotte right off the bat. 
because that's what they like to do. And um, I think they have a rematch at Evolution. Am, am I right? So if that's true, then I think they're going to go with Becky Lynch here. Maybe Becky wins here and then Charlotte wins at Evolution. I would just keep the title on Becky. Let Charlotte fade away from the title scene. Let her win the Royal Rumble. Go to challenge Ronda Rousey and get her off uh, of SmackDown. Let Becky do her thing over here on SmackDown Live. But this is going to be a great match. You know, these two are the best ladies on SmackDown Live. Uh, besides Asuka, and you know, you know what I mean. But anyways, I, I'm going with Becky Lynch to retain here in a great matchup. Definitely a uh, the, the best women's matchup. The rest are just trash tag teams. This is actually going to be a great women's wrestling match. Next up, we have a singles match for the number one contendership for the WWE Championship between Daniel Bryan and The Miz. This is sort of their third meeting here at a pay-per-view like show. You know, they had their match at SummerSlam. They had their uh, mixed tag match at Hell in a Cell. And here we are in this third matchup and the winner will go on to fight AJ Styles or Samoa Joe for the WWE Championship. And the only thing that makes sense to me, guys, is that The Miz wins this matchup. I don't care if he has to cheat. I don't care if it's shenanigans, melanigans. I don't care how he gets it done, but he gets it done. Miz will win this matchup and become the number one contender and he will either go on and take the title off of AJ Styles and hold it until WrestleMania with Daniel Bryan winning the Royal Rumble or we'll do it a different way and uh, Daniel Bryan will win and Samoa Joe will take the title off of AJ Styles and they'll have a feud going forth and I don't know what they'll do. So uh, if The Miz doesn't win, I don't know where they're going with it. But I'm going to go with The Miz winning. I'm picking The Miz to win this matchup. Should be better than their SummerSlam match, I hope. Even though that was a great match, I just, I, I don't know. I feel like they should have upped the tempo just a little bit with that one. So hopefully The Miz wins here in an epic classic. Next up, we have a tag team match between Elias and Kevin Owens taking on my boy John Cena, Bobby Lashley, and I'm sure Leo Rush will make the trip to Australia, right? I mean, if he's managing Bobby Lashley, wouldn't he have to make the trip there? So we got Leo Rush in the back over there on John Cena and Bobby Lashley's side. But um, John Cena making his in-ring return since WrestleMania, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we've seen him wrestle since then. And uh, everybody knows it's my favorite wrestler of all time, so I'm happy to see him back. Uh, I don't like this matchup, though. I really don't care about this match. I love Kevin Owens. I love Elias. Bobby Lashley's awful, and I love Leo Rush. But uh, I don't know. I, 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 this is a pointless matchup. It's, it's like the other tag team matches. It's just like they forced a lot of guys into one match so that they could get everybody on the card. But uh, I hope this match is more entertaining than um, I'm going into, like, the expectations. So uh, hopefully we get a good one out of this one. I know John Cena's rocking some awful t-shirt, guys. His new gear just does not look good to me. Hopefully he doesn't keep it for long. The shirt looks like it was made on freaking just, I don't know, like by a six-year-old in art class on the computer. I don't know what it was, but it's not good. I like the navy blue color, but Jesus Christ, guys, if you haven't seen it, maybe I can pop up a picture or I'll show you guys uh, later on or you guys can look it up yourselves. But it doesn't look good. Anyways, um, I'm going to go with the faces winning. I think John Cena, Bobby Lashley, and Leo Rush will pick up the victory. And that is because John Cena, it's his entering return. He's going to walk off with a dub. Next up, we have a six-man tag team match between Braun Strowman, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Drew McIntyre, and my boy Dolph Ziggler, taking on The Shield in Dean Ambrose, the Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins, and the Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Would you look at that? Every single championship on Monday Night Raw wrapped up into one feud. Don't you just love it? Sarcasm. Um, I, I really do not like this feud, guys, and I'll tell you why. There's some bits of good, but there's so much bad going on with this feud, and I just do not like it. I hate how every title is revolved around just this one feud, and this feud literally makes no sense. I, I, I don't know why the Raw Tag Team Champions and Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler are with Braun Strowman and just the Shield, and it's just... I want a Universal Champion feuding with somebody, I want an Intercontinental Champion feuding with somebody, and then I want the Raw Tag Team Champions feuding with somebody. Not at all mixed together in a six mad, just madness going on here. Um, but the question going into this matchup is going to be Dean Ambrose. Is he going to turn heel? You know, we've we've seen some some uh, tips for that. We've seen some freaking, you know, some sneaky stuff going on. Is is it going to happen? We don't know. You know, they've kind of left us uh, wondering ourselves. So I guess this is going to, I hope we find out at this show. I think this is where, you know, the climax will be if he does, in fact, turn heel. If he doesn't turn heel, I think it's a missed opportunity. Um, so you get, you know, you're, all your titles are handcuffed right now. If you can get that out of the way, like Brock Lesnar, just get all the titles separated from the shield or it just, just get it out of one feud and then you know everybody can free roam around Monday Night Raw and fight some new feuds and stuff like that. I know I miss Seth Rollins Intercontinental Championship feud before the shield. I definitely miss that. I miss you know 
Uh, well, I guess we've never really had a defending U Universal Champion, maybe once ever. Uh, give it back to Finn Balor or something. I don't know. I, I, I'm just sick of this, guys. Let's get let's move on here. I'm going with I'm going with Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and uh, Drew McIntyre to pick up the win here, and I'm going to call a Dean Ambrose heel turn. Ah, uh, here's a good match with a good few going to it. We got the WWE Championship match between Samoa Joe and AJ Styles, and it is a no disqualification matchup. This should definitely be the best matchup between these two so far. I cannot wait for this one. Samoa Joe, if he does not win the WWE Championship here, guys, I don't think he ever will. This is definitely the time. If he's going to take the title from AJ Styles, it has to be a super showdown, and I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to go with AJ Styles picking up the win. I'll go ahead and tell you that, but I love this feud. These guys are great together. Um, definitely probably the best feud going on right now hands down in the entire company so uh, I am enjoying this I, I can't wait to see what happens here and I'm gonna go with AJ Styles retaining I hope we get some cool spots some good weaponry and everything going around and uh, yeah AJ Styles is going to retain the WWE Championship, and I don't know where the crap Samoa Joe goes from here. And for our main event, we have The Undertaker returning to the ring to take on Triple H, who is also returning to the ring. And you know they're, they're claiming this is the last time ever, but uh, I thought their last matchup was the last time ever. So, I mean, you never know, guys. I, I, I think this will be the last time ever, but uh, I just think that's funny how they do that. But, uh, you, you know, Kane, the brother the brother of Undertaker, Kane, the big red machine, will be in his corner. And then, of course, the longtime friend, the DX partner, the freaking bestie, Shawn Michaels, HBK, will be in Triple H's corner. And I definitely think that Kane and Shawn Michaels will de most definitely get involved in this matchup somehow. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it, but... Uh, you know, the in-ring generals and veterans that Undertaker and Triple H are, I hope that they are able to deliver in their old age. I know Triple H is still in tremendous shape. Undertaker, it's rumored that he's still in tremendous shape. You know, he looked solid against Rusev at the Greatest Royal Rumble. He looked uh, pretty all right against uh, Cena at WrestleMania, I guess. And um, I think that they can mix it up well. You know, Triple H fought at WrestleMania. He fought at Survivor Series. He, he looks incredible, and I think that he can definitely deliver. He looked great at the greatest Royal Rumble versus John Cena. That was a good matchup as well. So uh, I don't know. I think Undertaker will pick up the win here. I think that's how it will go. But uh, I expect HBK and Undertaker to get into it a little bit. You know, it's potentially rumored, spoiler alert, that uh, we're going to have Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at Survivor Series. Now, if that's true, then I guess the seeds will be planted for that match here in, in, in the Super, Super Showdown in Australia. So I guess we'll have to see. That'll be one of those things that we look for during the matchup. But I think I'm going to go with The Undertaker defeating Triple H. Triple H um, has taken a lot of L's in the last few years, you know, since he's uh, been coming out of in and out of retirement to the ring and back in the office and to the ring and so forth. So I think Triple H is going to take another L here and he's going to put over The Undertaker and then Shawn Michaels and Undertaker will have another match at Survivor Series. But uh, that pretty much does it for the Super Showdown predictions, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, I'm looking forward to the pay-per-view or the live event, whatever you want to call it. I think that uh, I I'm going in with zero expectations, but I am also looking forward to it just to see how it goes. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below your predictions yourself. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.